All right. So number seventeen. Give the major elimination product for the following reaction. So we have cyclo bromocyclohexane. And we're treating it with sodium methoxide. And it's cold. So are we going to get OH? These are our I'm sorry, I hope everyone could see what I was writing there. All right, so, okay, obviously this is not gonna happen, and obviously this is not gonna happen because there's no sulfur molecules in the, anywhere. Um, there's no nitrogen molecules anywhere, so that's not gonna happen either. So we're left with these three, um, this would be from an E2 elimination. That would be if the methoxide took a hydrogen off the alpha carbon and created a double bond there. This would be from an SN2 reaction, right? This bottom, this would be from an SN2 reaction if the, if the methoxide ion came in from, you know, the opposite side of the bromine. Um, and... Right, it kicked it off and created an SN2 reaction. And then the OH, I don't even see that can ha how that could happen. So maybe it could, but I don't know. So these are like my two viable options, E2 or SN2, right? Now from what they're saying here, and I guess it kind of makes sense if you think about it, the SN2 reaction is not going to happen because it's too there's too much oh there's only there's one two in, in order for this to happen the methoxide ion would have to approach from the back of this of this hexane molecule where the bromine is right it would so like here's the the hexane molecule let's just say like this is the bromine and then you have hydrogen here. Um, there's a lot, I guess there's too much hindrance going on here for that methoxide ion to come in here and do a, I guess it's just too sterically hindered to go in. There's, there's too much stuff in its way, so that's not very likely to happen. So the most likely thing that would happen would be an E2 elimination, right? That would make sense if if we had the um, here's the bromine and here's an H and then the methoxide could just pick up that H the H would create a double bond and then we would get this molecule over here but in order to do that we need heat right you need some heat you need um, heat of activation, you need energy of activation in order to do E2 or elimination supposedly and this is being done in the cold so nothing's gonna happen the answer is no reaction